Stella, we got some knee pads on, some pink elbow pads. You are ready. Yeah, you tell me when. You got this! Yeah! He did it for nine seconds for me. Yeah! Cause we got all the time in the world For better or worse, we should stay together So let's stay young and in love We should focus on us forever Happy Friday! All the kids are at school. We are ready for the weekend. It is finally starting to cool down here. It feels perfect. We don't get fall very long in Nevada, in Las Vegas area. It's usually super hot and then we get fall for like a couple days and then it goes cold. So we are enjoying this beautiful fall weather. It's about 80 degrees outside and it is the perfect weather for bike riding. So if you guys haven't checked out that vlog back in April. We took Stella to learn how to ride a bike for the first time without training wheels. She did so good. She's been practicing. Actually, she hasn't been practicing, let's be honest, because it's been too hot. But we're going into fall, so we're ready to get Stella back on a bike without training wheels, go on some family bike rides, all the things. So before the kids get home and before we start working with Stella, Marcos and I are so excited to be partnering with Van Powers. We got this awesome e-bike from them. It's called the Urban Glide. We're so excited. We have been wanting an e-bike forever. And so we did some research and we're so excited to be partnering with them. It is an awesome e-bike. We're putting it all together today. We're going on a little bike ride. I'm gonna take you guys along with us, show you the ins and outs of the e-bike, show you all it has to offer. It's gonna be so nice for me and Marcos. We're excited. So let's get going to building that bike, go on that bike ride before the kids get home and then stay tuned because we're gonna take Stella and we're gonna teach her how to ride a bike without training wheels. So I got Marcos in the house. Yes. No work for him today, so it's party for the adults. Woo, woo, woo. Party with a bike ride, right? Yes, I'm excited to show you all the good features. So without further ado, let's head on out. Okay, did you already put it together? I did. Marcos has been working hard in the garage. I just got back from running a few errands. I'm excited to see it. Let's go show you. We seriously have wanted an e-bike forever, so this is like a dream come true. Thanks again, Van Powers, for sponsoring this video. All right, Marcos built this. That's right. Was it hard or was it easy? Super easy. It comes mostly put together right in this box. I just had to put together one wheel, a couple other things, and it was done like that. Okay, let's go for a ride. Okay. All right, guys, I am in Marcos's truck and he's over there enjoying the bike. We'll show you how fast this bike goes. He can definitely keep up with the truck. Looking good. Look at him just going up those hills, no problem at all. How's it up those hills? Oh, it was smooth. Yeah, you look like you're cruising. Very easy. Check that out. The bike matches the car. 
Looking good. All right guys, beautiful fall day. Marcos enjoyed his little joy ride. I followed him in the truck. Um, we thought we'd come a little bit farther away from our house where there's not a lot of cars so we could show you all the fun features and all the awesome features of this bike. All right, so first things first, we gotta show you how to turn on the bike. We've got your little electronic screen here, right? I know nothing about an e-bike, Marcos, so teach us all. So super easy to turn on. There is this power button right here. These are where some of the controls are. You just long press that power button and the screen will turn on just like that. One of the great features of this bike is it saves maximum battery level. If the screen has been on for too long, the battery will shut it off automatically, saving the battery life. So when you need to turn it on, there's this silver button on the side right here. Okay, perf. Love that. Wake it up and then you can turn on the power button just like normal. So this is a 3.5 inch TFT LCD full color display. It shows you everything that you need, including your speed, your battery level, how many calories you've burned, and you can cycle through the different things that show on the screen by pressing the power button quickly. It'll show you the mileage and also your miles per hour. Also, it'll show you your pedal assist level, which there are five levels, one meaning the lowest and five being the highest, which you'll, you'll be cruising pretty quickly on level five. I was doing three, four, and five. Okay, and you're keeping up pretty dang good with your truck. I love how it has a headlight right in the front because sometimes we need to ride at night, like when we're taking Ty to tennis, you and Ty could ride to tennis. And then there's a rear rack on the back that you could attach like a basket or a crate or something to put groceries in we have a gas station down the street sometimes we got to run and get some milk just hop on your van powers e-bike and you're good to go i love that it has the fenders in the front and the back so you don't get kicked up water when you're driving through a puddle or some light oh, rain is that what those are for oh yeah you also have this kickstand super easy to use with the flip of your foot I love a good easy kickstand. I hate those ones where you're like trying to kick forever and it like stub your toe, all the things. This, this one is seems super sleek. easier, super convenient, user friendly. I love it. I'm not prepared riding the bike, but I've got some flip flops on. Just wanted to show you how easy it is to do it even with like a little sandal. Easy peasy. Not stubbing my toe trying to move a kickstand. That's like kind of important to me for a bike. One of the great features of the Urban Glide is its frame shape. Unlike other bikes where it's difficult to step through and mount the bike, opening yourself up to injury and much discomfort, the Urban Glide has a 380 millimeter step through making it an awesome choice for both men and women of all ages. The frame shape allows for a more natural and relaxed riding position which can reduce strain and tension in the back and hips. Part of what makes this such a smooth experience is that it has awesome shock absorption. Take a look at these shocks right here. So right here is a dial that you can set the level of absorption, the shock absorption right here. So right now it's completely off. So if I push down on the handlebars, there's no shock absorption at all. But if I want maximum shock absorption, just turn that dial all the way and take a look at these shocks now. Oh, nice. So if you're going over speed bumps, gravel, any rough terrain like that, this is gonna help provide that smooth experience. The Urban Glide features a 500 watt high speed brushless hub motor, a speed sensor, and a throttle, bringing you powerful acceleration and a top speed of 20 miles per hour, aiming to provide a silent yet energetic ride every single time. A smooth and responsive power delivery system helps reduce jerky movements for gradual and comfortable acceleration. The Urban Glide is also compatible with the Van Powers app, which is a mobile app that provides the combined functions of navigation, settings adjustments, and recording your ride information. All right guys, just like that, I'm back home. Marcos is just a little bit a ways behind me. I just figured this would be so nice. There's so many times that my kids wanna go to a friend's house or they wanna run somewhere real quick and it feels like a waste to get in the car and we haven't had any good bikes and with the e-bike assist, it's not really like hard to go up hills. So it's gonna be so great to just run them over to a friend's house, have them hop on their scooter or their bike. I just don't like them to go alone. So I always like me or Marcos to be with them. I think it's gonna be great. Here's Marcos. 
Like I said, there's a gas station down the street. My kids love to go down there and get a little treat or drink. Could be a fun little family ride. We've got the e-bike and then the kids have like electric scooters and stuff like that so this is gonna be so great for me and marcus that was a good time thanks again van powers for sponsoring this video we're so excited to have this bike and make some fun family memories quick little jaunts around the neighborhood you could also commute to work you can also go on bike rides with paved trails options are endless. So we're gonna put the description in the link below along with the bike that we got, which is called the Urban Glide. So you guys can click the link, purchase your own Van Powers Urban Glide e-bike and you will love it. All right, this is take two of training wheels coming off for Stella. Are you ready to ride the bike again? Yeah! Without training wheels. It's pretty hard. It is pretty hard, but you got it. You were so close last time. Last time you hold on to me and we both fell. Yeah, I know. But this time we have a helper. Ty is helping record. There he we is. need a helmet. He's gonna help record so I don't have to re like hold the camera and hold your bike at the same time. And then Levy's here for the ride. You're doing good. We gotta take those training wheels off. All right, Stella, time for the wheels to come off. You wanna try it? Yeah. Guess what I brought? What? To help protect you even more. Knee pads and elbow pads. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Oh, Ty's already sporting them. All right, Stella. Pink ones? Yeah. Hey, Livy, I think I need to pump those tires. They're pretty flat. <laughs> Booyah. Brought Booyah. my my handy dandy pump. Ready for the other tire? Yeah. Okay, Stella, we got some knee pads on, some pink elbow pads. You are ready. Mm -hmm. Let's get on that bike. No yeah. fear. Don't be scared. Yeah. Remember, you're going to start balancing. You're going to just walk with it. Just like last time. Working on the balance. Okay, so last time, the next step was to just have her balance while I push with, uh, you know, hold the seat. So no pedaling, but we're just gonna work on balance. I'm gonna let go for a second and you balance. Got it? How do I balance? Just try not to fall over. If you do, just put your foot down. She's gonna pedal. You don't need to be scared, Stella. Tell me when. Are you gonna push me off? You're gonna push and I'm gonna hold your bike. Remember, you control the bike. If you fall, it's because you let yourself fall. You need to be strong mm -hmm. and you need to be the boss of the bike. You control the bike, okay? I'm gonna hold you. I'm only gonna let go for like a second. You need to learn how to balance by yourself for just one second, okay? You can do it. Good, good, good job. Keep pedaling. Okay. Keep pedaling, keep pedaling. Where's your bike? It's over there. How did it get over there? I don't know. Are you just taking a break? How are those knee pads working? Good. Have you fallen yet? No. You're right, because Dad has saved you every time. So yeah, you, this you... one's falling off. Okay, let's tighten it. Go ahead and tighten it.
getting better. On to you for five seconds. That's good so job. good. Mm -hmm. Doing some good segments. Alright guys, update. Stella's been doing so good the last few runs. She's been going on like almost 10 seconds by herself, which is awesome. Only on flat ground though. Yeah, she struggles with slight me. inclines. We did it for nine seconds for me. Yeah, nine seconds. Way to go. So now she's feeling a little bit more comfortable. She's gonna go back on this small bike. But we have decided to take one training wheel off. That one's off. We got one still on so she can get the hang of you know just doing it by herself do the startup Let's try it. see what you can do you got this yeah i do okay let's do it Stella, you about done? She said almost. She's been going at it for an hour and a half. Doesn't want to quit. She does seem to like the one training wheel on, one training wheel off. It helps with practicing balance, but really it's not fun. completely on her own. What? It's really fun. Yeah, you want to try more at home? Yeah. You want to try on the big bike now, the red bike? But they didn't have any training I know. There's no training wheels on this one, but I think you ride it better because you're big enough. Mm -hmm. Let's try it out. Okay, you want your knee pads on again or no? No. Okay. I think you can do it. All right, let's do it. short-lived. Stella fell. She got a little scrape on her knee. She didn't put her knee pads back on. I told her to do it, but she said no. And of course, she fell. The one time she didn't wear them, she fell. Her helmet was on, but she scraped her knee. But she's out there riding scooters now in the neighborhood. What happened? I went too fast and I tried to stop, but I was still going too fast. Were you, did, you, did you go down the driveway? Yeah, and I was still going fast, but I stopped this, but oh. it wouldn't work oh, really okay. good. 
Okay, <laughs> Stella. Next time, don't go down a driveway. You're not supposed to be on people's driveways anyway. Okay? Don't do that again. Are you okay? Do you need a Band-Aid? Another one? Another one. Okay. Libby, did you fall? No. Woo. Good. Bye. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed watching Stella re-ride and relearn her riding her bike. Hopefully she gets it even more in the future. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like this video, and stay tuned for the next one. Also, don't forget to head over to vanpowers.com and check out the Urban Glide e-bike. We love it. We know you will, too. Have a good one. Hope you enjoyed watching Stella watch. Hope you enjoyed watching Stella rate. <laughs>